The close to two months break from school has finally come to an end for students across the country, marking the beginning of third term. However, the challenges faced by female students, especially during their menstruation period, has been mentioned as a major distraction to concentration in classrooms, which reflects on their overall performance in school. Instead of throwing the mud back at government, can we find a solution from the family front? Lack of sanitary towels has been related to the increase in number of early pregnancies across different regions in Kenya. Statistics indicate an increase in students who sat the national examination while expectant, as compared to last year. Bungoma County tops the list with 43 expectant students, followed by Meru, Nakuru, Kisi and Nandi counties. Who is it that is hoodwinking our children? Can we persuade the parents to work with us? So that you, you, you tell the child what to expect. Talk to your child. Your child does not need money. Your child needs your time and wisdom. The national government, through the Ministry of Education, in efforts to resolve the matter, says it allocated 490 million shillings for the purchase of sanitary towels for needy students across learning institutions countrywide. And we gave packets for nine months. And we are sure that the packets reached, because even we worked together with the parliamentary group, they monitored. Now the challenge is now in the front line at home. Because if a girl comes home with a package of for nine months and there are two other females in the house, how do we protect our girls? Ben Kerera K24, Evening Edition.